We're looking at a huge breakthrough in cancer treatment, but it's facing a serious, unexpected threat. What if your body could learn to cure its own cancer? Well, for some people, that's happening right now. Just think, a vaccine made just for you to fight the mutations in your specific tumor. That's the big idea. So let's talk about Barbara Brigham. In 2020, she got a pancreatic cancer diagnosis, usually a death sentence. But check this out. Four years later, she's cancer-free. And as she puts it, she never sits still. So how does this amazing vaccine even work? It's all about mRNA, teaching your immune system to fight back. Cancer cells have these unique little flags called neoantigens, but our immune system, it often just ignores them. Now we have killer T cells to destroy invaders. The problem is cancer's really good at hiding from them. It's a totally custom job. They take out the tumor and then AI helps create a vaccine that wakes up those T cells. And the results, absolutely insane. Barbara's cancer-fighting T cells multiplied by 20,000 times. In her trial, it was a small group, but half the patients had a really strong immune response. And listen, this isn't just about pancreatic cancer. This tech is showing promise all over the place. We're talking melanoma, lung cancer. There are over 50 trials running and the results look really good. Things are moving super fast. We could see a melanoma vaccine approved and ready for people by 2028. So it's a huge shift, right? We're not attacking the body anymore. We're arming it to defend itself. But just as things are taking off, the source calls this a perilous time for the research. Why? Well, the threat actually comes from the U.S. government, which has been the main funder of this work for years. The source says that in early 2025, the National Cancer Institute's funding was slashed by a massive 31%. And it's not just about the money. The mRNA tech itself is facing what the source calls mounting federal hostility. So you've got this hostile climate. NIH grants getting flagged and hundreds of millions in research just canceled. You know, this breakthrough didn't just happen overnight. It was built on decades of work and public support. So that's the bottom line. This incredible tool to fight cancer is right here. The real question is, are we going to support it?